I thought I'd share another one of my what's for dinner recipes. I'm making baked ziti. Now, this is going to be in the crock pot, but the thing is, I don't feel comfortable putting raw beef in the crock pot, so I'm going to brown this up and drain it. And I'm also going to cook my noodles. Only because some people reviewed that the recipe, their noodles were either chewy or didn't get done. So I'm going to cook them, but this way I can make it, have it in the crock pot, and it'll be ready when everybody's ready to eat. And I take my parents their dinner. It's about almost three o'clock. My husband's usually home by five, and I try to go straight and serve my parents dinner while it's hot. So I'm going to take you along with me today as I make this baked ziti, and I'm going to make a salad and some garlic knots. So Stay tuned. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you're coming back, I'm glad to have you back. I hope everyone's having a great week. And let's get started on this meal. I'm going to be using two jars of the Rayo's pasta sauce in the roasted garlic. That's my absolute favorite. Now you can use any pasta sauce you want. Pasta for ziti. This is rigatoni. Similar. What I could find, some Italian seasoning, parsley flakes, basil leaves, mixed up salt, and a bag of Italian style cheese. That's what we're gonna need for this recipe. And if you hear any noise, my grandbabies are here in the background, you may hear them. I'm gonna just take this ground beef and brown it up in the skillet. And then I'll cook my pasta and then we'll mix everything in the crock pot and cook it there. I did add a little bit of olive oil to my skillet here and um, I did add the pasta water to get it boiling. I have to turn around and show you that. Ignore my dirty floor, but look at my grandbaby, what she's playing with. Bows and spoons in the floor, and that's the way I used to do my kids. There's the back of her at the gate from the playroom. That's what I would do when my kids were babies, and I had to cook or would cook. I would put them in the kitchen with some pots and pans to play. That way I could cook. And it worked out just fine. Come here, sis. She goes down that hallway, hallway and hides to use the bathroom. She's 18 months, but I think next summer when she comes back, she'll be two and a half, she'll be ready to start potty training. I'm not starting before they're ready. If they're ready, that's fine, but I'm not gonna push the subject because you're just wasting your time if you try to do it before they're ready. They'll let you know. And you know what? It don't matter if they're two or four or five, whenever they, Potty train, they potty train. Don't stress yourself out. My husband, I used to do that, and he would say, you know, they're not going to start school with diapers, which is true, unless they have, you know, special needs or something. And we've been there and done that, which I will share maybe some other time. So this is not the time. Okay, our ground beef is almost finished. All right, so I've got my ground beef done, and I'm gonna turn this burner off. My pasta water is just about to boil. So, I'm gonna add some water to it. I'm gonna make it pretty salty. They say make it taste like the ocean. It'll hurt anyway. Just about ready. I'm going to move my crock pot over here and we're going to put the rest of this together. If I don't fall and kill myself, you all, in this kitchen, it'll be a miracle because there's stuff, my grandbaby's stuff everywhere. I'm not going to put that grease in there. Leave it in the pan. Just back there. 
for now. Okay. And I don't like a lot of meat in my pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta shell. That water is boiling. Go ahead and stir our noodles. Make them cook. And we have to let them cook for for 12 minutes. Alexa, well, never mind, my grandbaby. Um, 12 minutes will be 17 after my grandbaby. Unplug the Alexa. Okay. She'll unplug stuff if she can get to it. Okay, now I've got my ground beef in here. I'm going to go ahead and add both jars of my Rouse pasta sauce. I love this. It honestly tastes homemade. So if you can get it, which honestly, it went up to $8.99 a jar, I about died. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in them to rinse them out. Isn't that ridiculous? $9 for a jar of pasta sauce. I think it is. And then I'm going to put some Italian seasoning. And I know Italian seasoning has this stuff in it, but I'm going to still add some more basil. What? What, baby? Vegetables. Parsley flakes. Good. You're making vegetables from your garden. That's the best kind. Some mixed up salt. I also made some rolls. Rolls. I love Cinnamon rolls. Buns. Cinnamon buns. Whoa. Cinnamon Those are rolls. yummy. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls, guys. She made. And I also made my eggs. What else? Boiled eggs. Boiled eggs. Well, that's a healthy diet. I can tell you that. Okay, I just mixed that pasta sauce up. You know, I forgot my ricotta cheese. Hold on. Okay, this is 16 ounces. I'm gonna use half because a lot of the reviews said that it made it too watery, so I'm gonna use half. Yeah, grab me a little bit right there. This one's standing at the gate watching me every step I make, which is precious. You all done my nails for Halloween because my granddaughter loves for us to dress up. And we do a little neat thing, and I'll share a video. I've already got it to go up. The 28th or 30th, I'm not sure. I think the 30th, I'm not sure. Anyway, she loves it when we dress up. And I put these nails on, and I can't do a ding, dang thing. I love my nails being done, but it's not very practical for me anymore. Okay, I want to stir that ricotta in there really well. And my pasta is boiling well, so I'm gonna turn it down a little so we don't boil over. And then I'm gonna pour in, this is Italian style cheese. I will have the recipe linked in my description box. Um, Italian style cheese, probably half of it in my crock pot. And then I'll use the other half on top. I mean, half of it in the meat and then half of it on top. I think this is going to be really, really good. I really do. I think it... And it smells pretty garlicky. I don't think I'm going to put any more garlic in it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to the crock pot. And when my noodles get finished, I will add them to it, stir it up. I'm going to turn it on high for, I think it's got four, yeah, four hours. So I'm going to turn it on high for four hours, but it'll be done before the end because the meat and the other stuff's already cooked. It's just heating that pasta sauce and ricotta up. And I'll show you a salad I'm gonna make. Okay, my pasta makes about one minute of being done, finished, whatever you wanna call it. Let me check it. Oh, 
I think it needs at least five more minutes. It's not done enough. It's it's more, it's two uncooked. It's more than two Thor al dente, as they call it. And I know my mommy, she sure won't eat it. She'll say, this ain't done, and it ain't. Okay, let's let it cook for five more minutes, and I'll check again. Okay, so our noodles are done now, and I'm just gonna take them over here to see if I can do this. I'm gonna bring the crock pot over here and put the noodles in it, and then I'll put it back in the crock pot. Makes a lot of food, a lot. Look at that. Preserve your pasta water in case you have to thin it out once you get it in there and it cooks because where it's in the crock pot, it may evaporate your liquid and you may not have enough and you need some of that starchy water, okay? So I'm just taking my spoon and I'm gonna mix it all together like this. Yeah, this is a ton of food. <clears throat> this is gonna be plenty for my son. My son and his wife ate with us again yesterday. She's sick, she had to go to the doctor and get a couple shots. And um, I don't know, it's probably just what everybody else has got. Her ears were hurting and stuff like that, so. She's a school teacher, so she went ahead and got medicine and went to the doctor and all that good stuff. But everybody's getting whatever all of us have had. It's just a change of the season, I think. Okay, I'm going to take the remainder of this Italian cheese and just uh, dollop it or sprinkle it here on top. So when it bakes, it'll have a pretty crust. And I think that's going to be beautiful. So here's what it looks like before I put it in the crock pot. Basically, the pasta's cooked, the meat's cooked. So we're just heating through the ricotta, the cheese is melting, and the sauce getting heated up. But I'm going to leave it in there for probably an hour and a half till my husband gets home, and then I'll take my parents' a plate. So stay. I'm getting ready to make a nice salad and some breadsticks. Okay, for our salad, I'm gonna use some iceberg lettuce, some of these little sweet peppers, some Roma tomatoes, some Texas toast garlic cheese croutons, a little bit of mild cheddar cheese, some little small pickling cucumbers, and a few little Kalamata olives I had left. And I think this is gonna be a really good salad.
some pecans in here, that's layer. And then we'll mix it up and see if I need to add anything else. I use my hands, but my hands are clean. I wash my hands probably a hundred times a day with my grandbabies here constantly. Okay, I think I'm going to add another pepper or two because I think they're pretty and I love color in a salad. I think they say there's a saying, eat the rainbow, and that's what that means. Ooh, I think. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Do this last one. And I didn't de seed them, so I'm kind of tired that way. My grandbaby. I've got a little snack cubby in the playroom so that Amelia, my four and a half year old, can help herself when she wants a snack. Of course she asks, but she can get it herself if I'm busy with the baby. I started that last year. And now the baby knows about it and she won't stay out of it. So I have a hard time with that. All right, there's her salad. I think it's beautiful and it's gonna be delicious. And this is what kind of bread we're gonna have with it. Garlic knots with real garlic. I love the New York brand garlic breads. They're just so delicious. I think it's 425 for four to five minutes. Okay, my garlic knots just came out of the oven. And there they are, and they smell delicious. Here's our salad. Let me show you over here at air. Here's our baked ziti. And I think I'm gonna leave the lid off and I don't know if that'll make it get brown or not. I don't know, maybe I'll just leave the lid on it. Maybe that'll help, I don't know. Anyway, everything's done. I'm gonna insert a picture of my dad's plate at the end. I thank you all for watching today. Check out this recipe. I'll link it down below. And it was really easy to make, didn't need many ingredients and you can alter it however your family likes. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching, being with me today. I enjoyed hanging out with you today in my kitchen. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Until next time. Bye. Okay, guys. This is what it ended up looking like. This is my dad's plate. And he'll eat all of this. He's only about 122 pounds. But he's trying to gain weight. And he's got some pasta, ziti, two garlic knots, and a pretty good sized salad. And that's my grandbaby in the background. Her daddy just got here and she's sleepy and she's wanting his keys and he don't want her to have them. So... I just thought I'd stick this in there to show you all.